We are hearing new parts tonight of a frantic 911 call, the calls that were made during a Mesa shooting rampage. The shooting spree left one dead and five others in critical condition. Tram I joins us live with what those calls reveal. Tram? Yeah, Lindsay, you can hear chaos, worry, and fear. Suspect Ryan Giroux is charged with shooting three people in a motel room. One of them died. After that, 911 calls start pouring in from some of the loved ones of the shooting victims and the victims themselves. I'm at the Bistro restaurant at Eva and someone just came in here and shot. Yeah, they're just in here, came in here. Okay. Yes, stay on the line. Ryan Giroux is charged with wounding a worker there, then stealing a car. We just uh, were assaulted with a gunman who fired shots. Hit one of my uh, people here and tried to jack my car. Yes, sir. Our police are looking for him. They just got attempted carjack. Killed a gun on me. Drew ended up at an apartment complex. Police say he shot one person there, then ran to another complex. Investigators say he then shot a maintenance man before surrendering. And all of this happened within an area of about one square mile. So many of those 911 calls were coming in one after the other, many at the same time. The five other shooting victims all somehow amazingly survived. Well, Tram, Mesa police say this was not gang-related or a hate crime, but experts say, in, say Ryan Giroux has the markings of a white supremacist, and judging by his mugshots, he's been trying to shed his image of hate. He embraces, you know, white supremacy and, and uh, so forth. Ryan Giroux's tattoo progression. No apparent tattoos on his face, a large tattoo on his throat, dramatic changes on his prison profile photo. The word skin on his right eyebrow, the word head on his left eyebrow. A prominent 88 tattoo, the numerical symbol for Heil Hitler. A Celtic cross tattoo on his chin. My philosophy is one Nazi in town is one too many. Our subject matter expert is a Southwest investigator for the Anti-Defamation League. She requested we protect her identity. Was Giroux forced to join gangs by race to survive in prison? Whether or not he had that way of thinking prior to going to DOC or he obtained that during DOC, I can't really speak to that. Take a close look, his new monk shot. The 88, the Celtic cross, and Ward skinhead is gone. Probation records show he was trying to turn his life around and was getting his tattoos removed. If convicted and sent back to prison, the disappearance of those tattoos could pose a problem. That might make him stand out a little bit to the folks within uh, DOC um, as problematic for him. is dark and kind of a cold chill rolls over your stomach you're like ah oh. kind of a cold chill rolls over your stomach you're like ah oh. i got a towel help me get a towel wrapped around his neck but just too much blood start coming out i mean now the weird thing is that arizona i don't think we are we have a lot of shootings here i mean i live in scottsdale and i used to live in mesa but we don't have too much shootings here so this is a little bit shocking now six were shot, apparently, and one uh, is assumed to be dead, which is unfortunate when nobody wants people to die. And I don't know what's going on, I was just on this news site right now, and they put him in this in this white jumpsuit, apparently he's like some, and he's soaked in chemicals, or something like that, I don't know what they said, but they said something very, very weird, and I don't know why they put him in a, jump, a white jumpsuit, a white like, chemically jumpsuit, I don't know what's going on. 